get ready with me. This is a springtime foundation look. Stay tuned. Hi and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm doing a partial get ready with me. Basically I'm just showing you a springtime foundation face look that works very well for me in the springtime and in the summer. So before I get started, welcome. Thank you for being here. I truly appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, give me a like if you like it, and leave me a comment. Well, I have nothing on my face as far as any makeup. I have my skincare on, and I have my Dermatology SPF 45 Tinted Sunscreen, and that's all. My eyes are already done. I really don't have anything special on them. I have the uh, Maybelline Falsies uh, mascara on, and I think I put a light, I don't even know if you can see it, just a light over all shadow on my eyelids. And that's it. This is about the face today. So what I'm going to be using is this Milani Glow. Now this is a hydrator. It's a hydrating skin tint Milani Glow and it has 29% squalane in it. And it is, the first ingredient is water and the second one is squalane. I have the shade 210. It may be too dark, you know, it depends. If I've been out in the sun, it's perfect. If I haven't been, then it shows a little too dark. And I had company all week. So I wasn't really like out in the sun doing my usual thing like I usually do. So I'm a little bit paler than I normally am. Now this, I really, really like it because it feels like nothing on your face. But I feel like it evens out my skin tone and that's good enough for me. So I've shaken it up and I'm going to put this on and I put it on just with my fingers. So I'll take a little, I can tell it's going to be too dark here, but oh well, we'll see. Let me get my mirror, and I'm just going to, oh that was too much. Oh yeah, that looks really dark, but that's okay, I'll make it work. And I don't wear much, that's really kind of all I want to put on. It's just kind of right in this area, and I'm just rubbing it in with my fingers, I am going up under my eyes, and just kind of on my cheeks and around. I don't come all the way back to my ear and, and things like that. And of course, I never put anything on my forehead because you can't see it anyhow. So I'll put a couple dots over here and get that rubbed in. I like being able to just use my fingers. It's so quick. Because this is really, like, not coverage, what you would consider coverage, maybe some light coverage. Because it's just a, a tinted hydrator to give hydration to your skin and give you that glow. So, okay, I've done that. Boy, that didn't take long, did it? <laughs> that was really quick. And then next, I will put on my... Uh, Garnier Rollerball Anti-Dark Circle. This is what I use in place of a concealer. Because of my age, concealers just land in every line and wrinkle, and it's not worth it to me. This brightens me up, and it's so light and smoothing and creamy that it doesn't settle anywhere. So I just put a little right right here, kind of in the center, right here, and just in this corner of my eye, because that's where I have some darkness. And that's good enough. And then I'll do the same over here, 
and I'll just put that in with my finger. Just kind of blot that in some. I usually run a strip down my nose. Why? I don't know. I just like the way it feels. And this is a, a brightening thing, so. Okay, I'm done. So, I've got my foundation. Well, it's not really foundation. But I've got my uh, hydrating tint on. I've got my roller ball on. And now I'm just going to put a little bit of bronzer on. You know I love bronzer. And this is that uh, Marc Jacobs one that I showed in a previous video that I got at TJ Maxx. And I really love the color. It's just a beautiful color. It's not red. It's not orange. It's not muddy looking. It's just perfect. And I put it pretty much all over. I don't contour and do all that stuff. So I'm going to just kind of put a little bit of that all around my face, across my nose, and right here. And that's it. And then last, I will put on some blush, just a little blush. Now, I love this. I got this at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I can't remember which one. It was $7.99. It's made by MAC, and it's called Cheer Up. So I'll show you the shade of this. It is beautiful. It's like a peachy pink. And it's really pretty. It's brightening. It has a tiny bit of a sheen. Not much. You can barely see it. It almost feels like a cream. But it's it's like a... It's a powder, but it's not powdery. So maybe it's a cream to powder. So I'm just going to use this little stipple brush by e.l.f. And put some of that on here. And just very lightly... Put that on the very highest point of my cheekbones, which is about right in here. And I'm just going to stipple a little on. You may not even see it, because that's how little I'm putting on. Just to give me a little color. I think that's perfect. And then I'll do the same on this side. I just go up towards my temple. And then right on that highest point of my cheekbone. Oh, I'll do this too. <laughs> Just to have a little, a little something, something there. So that's that. And the last thing I do for a, quote, highlight is use my Vaseline Body Balm Stick. I'm still using this and I still love it. I put a little on my finger. I'll put a little on the end of my nose, right on my cupid's bow, take a little more, I tap it in right here, sort of like a highlighter, tap a little in here, it gives me such a glow, I just love it, and you don't have to worry about it sitting on top of the skin or settling into any lines or if you have texture, you don't have to worry about it. And I usually tap a little just right here. Don't need much because this Milani Glow Hydrating Tint really does give you a glow. Well, I am finished, but I think I better put some lipstick on. Now, normally I haven't been able to wear lipstick in my videos because I have Invisalign on my teeth. And the lipstick transfers onto that Invisalign. But I need some color, so I'll put some on. This, I got it TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I forget which one. It's a MAC lipstick. I, I must have six of these now. And they were all $7.99. This one is in the color, I think it's French Silk. Yes, French Silk, number 402. I think it's a beautiful shade. Put some right there on that finger. And here it is. It's like a peachy pink. So it looks real nice with that blush. Now again, I didn't put much blush on. 
but this is going to tie in. So just, just very lightly putting this on. No lip liner or anything. Just this to give me a little bit of color. And I think it did. So that's really the end of a spring look. My half get ready with me. Very lightweight. I don't have to worry about sweating, sweating makeup off, because I really don't like makeup on my face. But a tinted hydrator like that, it's moisturizing, it gives you some color, and it just even things out, just to give you kind of a fresh look for your day. Well, now it's time for my inside beauty tip. My inside beauty tip today is on a new chapter. I'm getting ready to enter a new chapter of my life. In a month, well, I'm filming this on April 11th, so May the 12th, which is just 31 days from now, I will turn 70 years young. And that will be a whole new chapter of my life, looking at the last years of my life, whether it be 5 years, 10 years, or 25 years. This is it for me. And I'm very excited about it. I know some people may feel down about it or depressed if they're approaching 70, but I don't. Now, I know there will be greater challenges. It seems like with each decade, the challenges do get greater. You have no idea what is going to come your way. I could have great health up till the day I draw my last breath. But I don't know that. But I'll tell you what, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not concerned about it. Because that would keep me from experiencing joy every day. That would keep me from enjoying my life. And my life to me is a gift. Every extra day I have here with my family is truly a gift from God and I don't want to waste a moment of it worrying about what might happen, what could happen. I will deal with it as it comes along. I know my skin will continue to change. Everything's going to change and that's okay. Life is full of changes. From the time we're born, we go through all those stages of changes. And then we get married, and then we have children, and so on and so forth. And life changes. But that's a good thing, because we learn such valuable lessons from those changes. So I'm really looking forward to my new chapter, my next chapter, are you going through a new chapter in your life, no matter what it is? If you are, I would love it if you would share it in the comments section below. So I guess all I'm saying is embrace life. Embrace everything about it. The challenges, your circumstances, your age. Be grateful. Be grateful that you made it to this age. So I will be excited in the future videos that I'll be putting up to share with you my journey of embracing my 70s and the changes that I know will occur. Some of them will be daily, but I'm excited to share them with you. And hopefully you will glean something from the changes that I go through during this new chapter that you can use as you get closer to your next decade and the changes that that will bring your way. To me, age really is just a number. I know you've all heard that before. Age is a number, but old 
is a mindset. And I am not going to get old. Not one bit. I am going to stay a girl at heart until the end of my time. I thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it. And until we meet again, this is the old girl signing out. See ya!